Welcome to another video of Passion for Pencils and uh, today I'm going to color this uh, ring-tailed lemure in uh, Magical Jungle by Joanna Besford and I'm using Prismacolor Premier pencils today the first color is yellow ochre the camera is not willing to uh, show it very well but So here we go. And for coloring this uh, animal I have a little bit of help from a beautiful encyclopedia that I received from one of you. Here it is. The Encyclopedia of Animals. And the special thing about this one is, look here, lots of drawings in it. All just beautiful artwork. So it not only teaches me about the animals, but also about how to draw and paint animals. Just beautiful. So it's been a while since I um, uploaded videos. And uh, maybe you've already noticed messages concerning the reason why I couldn't upload. I put messages on Instagram and the uh, YouTube channel. There were two problems. First problem is uh, concerning my phone. It is refusing to record audio. And I've tried many things now to uh, solve the problem with uh, all sorts of uh, microphones, updates, cleaning the phone, nothing works. So now I'm using a different device. Here we have 70% French grey, it's a warm grey. So now I am uh, trying to record with a separate device that will record audio and uh, hopefully this will work. There is a downside to it because I have to do uh, the editing takes a lot more time. I'm sure about that but okay I hope it's going to work. And there was another problem concerning health and uh, if you've been following my videos then you have heard me saying that uh, migraine attacks are quite common in my life and um, almost a year ago these migraine attacked attacks um, came more and more frequently up to a point that it was every day so it's it was chronic and um, my doctor and neurologist is searching for the solution and it's quite difficult to find the right medication if all there is a medication that works that's it's difficult because it's all very um, powerful medication with a lot of uh, side effects but anyway I hope um, things will improve so that was the second reason that uh, I did not upload or work at all I have to say I'm having a, a quite a long this is oh, oh yeah warm grey yeah I'm having quite a long summer holiday uh, because I hope that the rest, just resting, will uh, improve the situation as well. But, um, well, and let's do a little close up. I think I feel that resting is. Uh, it's working a bit and I th it also feels like the medication that I'm taking right now, although powerful stuff, 
uh, it's working a little bit so let's hope that it will stay that way I've had medication before this one and that worked well for a couple of weeks and then uh, the migraine monster had find another another way of uh, popping up I don't know how migraines work it's uh, it's a complicated uh, condition so this lemur has a lot of different shades in its fur and I'm trying to uh, to show it a little bit and if you are coloring fur then uh, it will look more natural more real if you uh, f follow the the way that the the hair st stick out of the body so every pencil stroke um, just is just like a hair that's not true because there are much many more hairs than pencil strokes here we have black I'm going to work on that face. I changed the face a little bit. And I'm trying to get that uh, a little bit more clear. These Prismacolor Premier pencils are very powerful when it comes to covering paper and you can see it, it, is, uh, it works very well. I recently saw a video of uh, an artist, I, every, I forgot his name, but he used uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and they are a little bit translucent and he said, well, these polychromos pencils are really designed for layering well maybe that's right and maybe these uh, prismacolor premieres are not so much about layering but just about putting powerful colors on the paper I'm enjoying them and as long as you don't drop them they are great pencils and not that expensive I checked their prices and I have to say they are not very expensive but there is a quality issue you should take, in, uh, take into account do not drop them but there is a treatment for when you drop them give them the sunshine treatment a French grey that is a slightly warm grey now that I'm recording this uh, video with a separate device for the audio what I I really miss, maybe you don't, but I do. I cannot sh uh, let you hear the sounds of the pencils on the paper. Something that I found just... You should just hear them, I think. But well, that's just not going to happen. Maybe I should uh, record just the sound of pencils on the paper <laughs> but I'm not going to do that today too complicated black noir 
Do you speak French? I have to learn a new language. My husband and I finally decided where we want to go on holidays, vacation, and it's going to be the beautiful island Madeira. And that is Portugal. They spe speak Portuguese and we don't. <laughs> so I think I need a crash course Portuguese. I'm sure there is something on the internet so. And here we you can buy these tiny little books with a very uh, just handy sentences and words in it from Dutch to Portuguese. Uh, we have many of those books. We have a Spanish one, Italian, French. And that really works. It is uh, divided in several chapters. A chapter about going to your hotel, about having dinner, about shopping, about being sick, you know, needing a doctor, about your car breaking down. So that really works. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, visiting that island. They say there are uh, beautiful gardens and the volcanic mountains are, uh, they say they are beautiful, so. And I hope the weather will be good and uh, I hope the ocean will be calm because I want to do a little bit of snorkeling. I've done that once on the Greek island of Crete and you know I'm a little bit scared with my head on the water. I don't know how to dive, I'm a very poor swimmer. But a couple of years ago, ah look at that, <clears throat> here we have Ivory Black by Erogiton. Erogiton is a little bit harder and I think that pencil will work a little bit better with those fluffy hairs sticking out here and there. A couple of years ago there was a new invention, a full face snorkeling mask. And uh, last, last year, I think, I saw a picture of my brother having one. It looked uh, weird. But I thought, this is the solution. So, I bought one. So now I'm hoping that uh, the ocean will be calm enough for me to do a little bit of snorkeling. A full face mask is... Um, it makes it easier to breathe underwater. I tested it out in my bath. <laughs> I wanted to be sure that it would work for me and it does, it seems to, uh, to work. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing just a new, something new, fishes, maybe uh, other animals that live in the sea fishes fish I think yeah when I look at the reference photo in the encyclopedia I see that um, the breast here, here is the ochre again, is not completely white. So I'm adding a little bit of color here.
We have very strange weather today. It's a type of weather that we don't have very often. We have blue skies with a couple of clouds and enormous winds. High speed stormy winds. Warm grey we have here. Yeah, let's put that in too. It reminds me this weather type of uh, what you see in, in the south of France. There you have this uh, Mistral winds or the famous phone wind. It's not a particularly warm wind we have here, but it's very strong. I have to say this morning there was a tornado in Amsterdam <laughs> in the central center of the city. A small tornado. That was weird. I saw uh, things. I, saw, I saw a video. Here I have indigo blue and I'm going to add indigo blue in the areas where I think there will be a little bit of shadow. And as you can see, I constantly uh, take the, the same direction with the pencil because I want it to look like fur hairs. Tornadoes are very rare in the Netherlands, but uh, every year we have a couple. Not the very big ones like you uh, see in uh, Tornado Alley in the US. Warm grey. I'm also using this one on that tail. But a couple of months ago we had a larger tornado elsewhere in the Netherlands that, uh, well, it caused quite a lot of damage. I'm just using a couple of colors as you can see. I'm, I'm coming back to the same colors over and over again. And that is something that I didn't do in the beginning when I started coloring. These, all these pencils just were screaming at me, use me, use me. <laughs> uh, this is dark umber, by the way. Um, but I have learned to uh, to limit my palette a little bit more. And again, I'm going in the same direction as, as the fur would be there. When you make a mistake with the color choice in colored pencil, um, I've, I think colored pencil is quite forgiving. As long, long as you use a light touch, you can just put another color right on top of it and things will, uh, yeah, things will improve. I also do a lot of watercolor painting uh, late, uh, right now and watercolor is less forgiving. So I'm really learning a lot right now about choosing the right colors. Here's the dark umber again. Yeah, this piece of the branch
I think it's quite dark over there because that lemur will cast a shadow. And we have black noir. French grey just to blend things a little bit well let's take a look at the result this looks quite nice I'm happy so this is it for today and um, well see you in the next video and happy coloring bye bye